This painting is from my last series, focusing on the depth of the layers. Anna Perez Ventura is pianiste en schilderes. Ik ging in gesprek met haar om erachter te komen wat haar innermost tijd is. Quite special to talk to each other after 10 years, I think. We studied piano in the same conservatory. What intrigues me about you is that you also study painting, visual art at the same time. Do you need music as much as you need visual art? Yes. For me, uh, as a person, as an artist, uh, I need both. I cannot choose uh, between one and another. It's like uh, a person who speaks. Uh, two languages. To what extent would you say does music influence your painting? Okay, um, as a musician you have to spend lots and lots of hours practicing. Um, it's, uh, this practice is very repetitive. I, I repeat all that on the canvas and all this time I'm, I spend is, is captured by the, by the canvas. Because I've been working in a series of works called Etudes since 2007. I started because I was practicing Chopin first etude and all these movements were like these loops, like these circular moments, movements. Uh, so I, I started um, working on that and repeating this gesture and in layers and layers. All these layers are like a way of also capturing time. So in a way that what is not visible for the musician, the hours of practicing, is in a way put into your paintings. Is this also a wish for you to, uh, to show to people um, not the tip of the iceberg, but that what is underneath? Yes, and, tra and transforming really also into beauty, all these repetitive emotions and all this a bit, um, we could say boring, maybe not. The practicing serves perhaps a, more a purpose, but it in itself not very meaningful yes. unless it serves in itself again a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what art, what the process of the artist is all about, mm -hmm. I think. So here um, I'm using the motion from left to right, like a writing. Left to right and to, from top to bottom, and then another layer and another layer. And different colors for each Yes, layer. different yeah. colors, yes. This is like the same, but just in black and white. From all the art forms, why did you choose music and painting? Well, um, I don't know, maybe it's because of the loneliness of both arts. Uh, I'm an only child, so uh, I grew, grew up in, uh, without siblings. <laughs> so I, I enjoyed spending time alone and uh, the, the good loneliness, let's say. But, and in the, in the, the painter is alone at his studio, uh, the pianist too. So maybe that's why I, 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 I don't know. This painting is from my last series when I'm just uh, working with two colors. The line is white and the layers of blue, focusing on the depth of the layers. It is transparent and and but also all, the, all the blue is transparent. It's, it's a layer of white, and then I put a, a layer of blue, a yeah. layer of white. So all the ah, blues yeah. that are on yeah. the back, they became all the white. It gets colored. Blend, yeah. Yes. You also spend time in nature. Um, this yes. is a, a very true and real part of yourself that you need loneliness to express something that is perhaps also deeply rooted inside of you and that it only comes out when you are silent. Yes, it's all this quietness. I mean, you cannot experience that when you are surrounded by uh, all sorts of um, uh, stimuli or distractions, uh, yeah. images everywhere and, and sounds and so I need calm and quietness. Yes. So it's an essential part of your being. Yes. <laughs>